my guys. All right, well, let's see how much trouble this rat can get me into. I, I keep trying to get myself and see how much trouble I can get myself in with my rants here. It is now Wednesday night. Uh, what is January 24th, 25th, somewhere in there. Who gives a fuck what day it is? And uh, so anyway, while I'm sitting around waiting for a phone call, that's never going to come. Just going to uh, sit here and go on medium.com. Uh, this fellow named Mike Meyer that I have shared his work before. Today, Mike, is his essay is titled Promoting, Promoting Perversity. So we're just going to read, I don't know, the first 25% to segue. Take it away, Mike Meyer. What is on your mind today, brother? So much for our ugly future. Self-inflicted disasters are no fun. No wonder it is being ignored. To do something about it would require facing our worst enemy, ourselves. We all know that leads to whining and becoming absurd and blaming everyone else for our stupidity. Meanwhile, the ruling financial elite, the Blue Meanies, otherwise known as the ruling financial elite, is determined to allow only token and profitable changes to, vague, to a vaguely admitted problem. After all, we are the best of all possible worlds. Changing anything would risk putting limits on our greed. Politics is a sham staffed by stooges of that elite who are too stupid to maintain even the remnants of popular government. Everyone knows that except the army of paid pundits. Everyone knows that except the army of paid pundits that are part of our media entertainment. Our society runs on inertia with only war as the allowed catalyst. Meanwhile, the elite print money and drive the markets to new highs, feeding themselves and building their fortresses. Some of them are smart enough to know what is happening. The remaining proletariat in the richest nation states, live on debt and lies while the precariat class is fed stories of wealth and possible saviors of various kinds. We are compartmentalized by media and otherwise left to our own devices. Our future has been stolen and replaced by a short-term profit schedule it has always been this way, but the assumption was that the future was long, but enough like the American present to be comfortable to the primary participants. We have had no luck dealing with the short-term present without a future. Late-stage capitalism needs an infinite future to allow everyone to become infinitely wealthy. The short term never seems to make it. And now the future is clearly in doubt. The elite can continue to enjoy their effortless capital and rentier gains and envision another level to their underground or mountaintop bunker. But we have only a disturbing absence. The promise of hard work and saving to one day get out of debt has been in tatters for decades. There is only more debt and increases in inflation that drives up the interest. Who do you know that has gotten out of debt? Okay. Who do I know that has gotten out of debt and where are the uh, comments?
comments to this because I think some guy named uh, Sam Mitchell from Collapse Chronicles had this answer for Mike Myers' question, who do you know who has gotten out of debt? I know this lonely old man with broken teeth named Sam Mitchell who got out of debt 15 years ago. All it took was selling his beautiful home and four rentals and paying off his $22,000 Home Depot credit card, among many others, quitting his six-figure job that was only getting him deeper into debt and walking away from his clueless moron, life of Riley, lavish lifestyle. He has been out of debt ever since. And if you don't count the fact that he has become an unintentional, celibate, isolated hermit MGTOW with no chance of ever finding a woman again to share his new debt-free life with, it's really not a hard life. Point is, there are a hell of a lot of folks who could get out of debt, but they are spoiled, entitled, clueless moron, little brats who would no more trade lives with me than they would roll around naked in a nest of scorpions. I have no sympathy for the whiny little brats. Hope that answers your question, Mike. Oh, Jesus. I, I get so fucking tired of this victim mentality that, that I see uh, here in, 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 in the Doomer community like everywhere else. D just blaming all of this shit uh, on the fucking elites and the banksters behind it all and capitalism and all of that shit while they take their fucking credit cards uh, to, to wherever, buying all of this fucking planet-eating shit uh, that they don't need in their fucking lives. Uh, you know, I, I'm trying to think, do I know one fucking person, one fucking person that, uh, that, that uh, did what I did uh, 15 years ago to, to end up uh, where I am today? And strangely enough, guys, uh, I, I'm going to give some credit to, to Guy McPherson for walking away. He, he's the only motherfucker I know besides me uh, who had the fucking balls to walk away from it. Now, of course, the difference between Guy McPherson and Sam Mitchell is that Guy McPherson stumbled into that little fucking uh, deep pocket sugar tit uh, you know, to, to soften his hard landing, but, but if it wasn't for Pauline, uh, you know, I would actually be, be cheering on a Guy McPherson. Uh, if it wasn't for, for his little deep pocket sugar tit bailing his ass out. But, but anyway, I was just reading, uh, where was I reading the comment? I was, it, did someone post it here, or maybe I read it on Medium, uh, that William Reese, a comment, I guess it was an interview that someone was having with William Reese, and in that interview, uh, he, he pointed out, and, I, and I'm just paraphrasing here because I can't find it, unfortunately, that basically the, the people uh, who are, are doing all of the whining, uh, the, these doomers, now I, I don't know about Mike, maybe, maybe, Mike, uh, maybe, maybe Mike lives in a cardboard box uh, on Skid Row, I, I don't know, but uh, what, what William Reese was talking about how all of these people, sounding like him, 
you know, bitching and moaning about all of these people using all of this damn energy and stuff. They have every bit of the same carbon and ecological footprint of the clueless fucking morons that they're whining about. Which is another way of saying uh, they haven't done a goddamn thing uh, in, in their lives uh, to, uh, you know, to make some fucking sacrifices to scale down. Uh, they, you know, as I say, they'd rather roll around in a nest of fucking scorpions than to put their fucking money where their fucking mouth is. And I'm getting sick and fucking tired of it. Goddamn doomers uh, b blaming uh, all, everyone but themselves. You know, running up their fucking credit card debt. I got no fucking sympathy for you. No fucking sympathy. You know, it's just, it's just like, I've, I've had, I've mentioned this many times and I have to find this fucking data that I keep referring to to remind me what it was, you know, talking about that people will work a lot harder to hold on to the shit that they've accumulated uh, on this planet, then they're willing to work to get it in the first place. Letting go of this shit, walking away from this, uh, you know, planet-eating material lifestyle. They, they ain't gonna do it. Uh, you know, it's the... Uh, I, I, I've always been wondering, you know, since, you know, since I made the decision to uh, sell my beautiful home and quit my six-figure job and, and, and all of that, uh, why I'm so surprised uh, that I find myself, continue to find myself sitting alone talking to my imaginary friends and, and I can't find a woman uh, to join me. Uh, how much does it have to do uh, with me uh, being a doomer? Because it seems to me that there's plenty of fucking doomer chicks uh, out there living in, in nice, comfortable, well-appointed homes uh, surrounded by all of this stuff. Uh, you know, that gives them time to uh, be doomers and shit. Uh, and, and, and here I sit. So, so, you know, here I am again in a, you know, in a single wide trailer out at the end of a rutted out dirt road uh, in a swamp in Florida. Uh, I don't mind saying that I have made, well, what, what this place looked like when, when I came in, when, when I got here, uh, when I got here uh, 10 weeks ago, uh, I don't know one thing fucking person uh, who would have agreed to spend one fucking night uh, in, in this trailer. And uh, I, I don't mind saying, and, and uh, I have, uh, this is what I have done in, in, in 10 weeks. It, it, it is it the lavish, beautiful home uh, I had in South Austin, Texas, uh, you know, that I sold this single wide trailer. Uh, it, it is, it is perfectly comfortable. I have furnished this entire trailer for less than $500. This three bedroom, uh, mobile home. Uh, here is this room. Uh, this is bedroom number two. Um, uh, let's see what, uh, here, here is this room. I, I, I have a very nice, comfortable, uh, 
little bivouac uh, that that two thirds of the planet would uh, w- would trade places to live here. Uh, but but you're goddamn straight uh, uh, that uh, 90% of the fucking doomers uh, that I hear whining about this shit, they wouldn't th- they wouldn't agree for one fucking minute to live here. And, 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 and then they, they sure as shit uh, are, are, are not going, at least this trailer is uh, about 700 square feet. Now they, and, and then they sure as shit. And obviously, this in, uh, th- th- this includes any any woman. Uh, there's no fucking way, no fucking way uh, that 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 any woman uh, is going to agree uh, to live in a in a goddamn tiny house in in New York for half of the year and, and this trailer. Uh, I, I, I've got these beautiful. Uh, tiny houses up there on 14 beautiful acres in paradise. Uh, no, no fucking woman in her right mind is going to, you know, to walk away. I don't give a shit how much of a doomer chick she is or anything else. She's not going to fucking walk away uh, from, you know, from her nice comfortable home. Uh, to go following Hambone uh, uh, up to this absolutely beautiful uh, piece of paradise that that could be hers. She, she's, it's not going to enter her fucking mind. There, there's no way uh, that, uh, that, that any doomer chick I know. You know, and, when, and, and fuck it. I mean, as long as I'm getting myself in trouble... So, I, I, I honestly don't know because uh, she sure as hell is not going to let me get, get, get anywhere near this conversation with her. And we all know who I'm talking about. And she's listening to this. So, darling, I, I, I really want to know since uh, all you're going to let me talk about with you is fucking space aliens. I, I, I really want to know, Maggie, if if, uh, if if I decided, and and I have the ability to do this, I could do this. Uh, if I were to, in, in in order to be with the woman I love, uh, to to fill this Dulcinea-sized hole in my heart. To, to have my soulmate beside me. If I were willing to, to uh, sell the place in New York and quit this little fucking snowbird lifestyle, I could afford to buy a nice home uh, uh, in fucking Pittsburgh. Uh, I, I could afford to uh, keep you in your comfortable material lifestyle to which you are accustomed. I honestly don't know if, uh, if Dulcinea, uh, what it is, her reluctance uh, to be with me. I, I am foolish enough to think that in her heart she knows that she wants to be with me. But, uh, but, but as batshit crazy as that woman is, she's not fucking stupid. You know, she's not going, uh, she's not uh, any more than, and I'm not picking on Dulcinea, it, 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 she's, she's not any more than any other woman. Uh, you know, she, she has a man uh, providing her uh, w- with a nice home, uh, feeding her, housing her, clothing her. Uh, I could do all this. Uh, and, 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 and I don't know uh, if, if, if I were to do this to be with her, whether she would say, fine. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Because I know goddamn well 
that 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 she is she is not batshit crazy enough to walk away from uh, that little comfort trap velvet rut she's living in. Uh, she she's got a pretty goddamn a uh, nice sweet easy life. Uh, uh, up there in goddamn Pittsburgh. She'd be a goddamn fool to trade that in. To, to live in some fucking dump like this. Or, or, or some tiny house on paradise. In Par she would be bored shitless uh, after about three days of living in paradise. You know? I, I, I'm, I'm not a fucking idiot. So, anyway, that's uh, kind of what's on uh, kind of what's on my mind. Uh, at least my little dog, uh, and my little dog will follow me uh, wherever I want to go, as long as there's squirrelies in Florida and chippies in New York. I have my little soulmate who is quite happy uh, in this dumpy little trailer. And that, and those beautiful little tiny houses full of chippies. So I, I might as well uh, just learn to be happy uh, with my little soulmate here. But because uh, there, there's no goddamn woman in her right mind uh, who is uh, who, who is going to give up uh, her little life of Riley. Uh, and, and, and make some fucking uh, sacrifices to uh, to both be with me and and uh, lighten her goddamn footprint on this planet. It, 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 it's all a bunch of fucking talk. Do you have anything to add to this now that we've gotten ourselves uh, completely in trouble? I'm off to make a goddamn drink. I have to go over to the mainstream media. See what's going on over there in a roundabout. <clears throat> Bye, guys. My ass little dog. I know I, I uh, inflict such hell on you. Uh, m making you uh, live in this, in this horrible dump out here in a swamp. I'm surprised PETA hasn't come and fucking rescued you yet from the life of hell uh, that I've inflicted on my dog. Bye, guys.